me and Serena, we have a very close bond when you have such a tight connection with someone. You pretty much read in each other's mind on what's going to happen next. I know. You got this. Be careful. So on our blind, it's also important to build up the back of it. Um, that just makes us less visible because when the animals look in, if you've got light behind you, it's really easy to see movement. If it's shaded behind you, which is what we're accomplishing here, then they shouldn't be able to see our movements. No, that's good. Should we get back in hunting mode? Yeah. We're both starving. Hopefully we can find it before a hyena or leopard does. We need this. <laughs> there it is. It's down, it's down. Oh yeah. my god, Dinner! She done it! I didn't think it would go far with all that blood. Good work, mate. Bloody good work. We can survive. Say so he's a beauty. We might as well got it here before we carry it back. <laughs> Woo! Good work to you too. We don't have much time to do this, so we've got to get cracking. Oh, really, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful animal. First of all, open it up, pull the guts out, lose a bit of weight, and also we do not want to attract anything with the guts. Just on cloud nine right now. Not bad when you're starving. He looks like he could be pretty heavy. Backpack it out of here. Yeah. Show them how Kiwis do it. <laughs> <laughs> what we like to do, and which is definitely the easiest way to get it out of the bush, is to put it on your back like a backpack. All you need to do is cut the knees of the front leg of the impala, and then you put a slit in the back legs of the impala and feed the front leg through the back leg and it's literally like wearing a backpack. I'll just start going, eh? Yeah. Go hyenas. <laughs> oh, we got to move fast. That sun is getting down real fast. Yeah, we're going to have to find a tree to hang it so we can skin it, and then we'll take cuts of meat off it. I was thinking that tree there. Oh, that might hold. Don't have long, so let's just get some meat off. And you look so savage with all that blood all over you. <laughs> We've run out of time with daylight, and we know there is going to be predators everywhere tonight smelling this meat. I really hope we see these in the morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw um, as much as we can in some prickly bush. One, two, three. <sighs> and then whatever we can eat tonight, we're taking it into our bulma. Just need to chuck some thorns around it and we're done. Yeah, now put one on top of that. And we... Okay. <gasps> ah! That one was deep. I really hope we can make shoes now. We've got to hide. I've got my cutting board here and an arrow, so I'm going to slice it all up into thin pieces, and we're going to try to dry it out into some bouton, which is dried meat, jerky. Still got a bit of afternoon sun to get on it, and then tonight we are going to pull it into our bulma before the sun goes down. So no doubt we'll have every type of predator circling us tonight. I've already noticed how much it's perked me up. Like, I've, like, instantly had energy. Woo! <gasps> We've got food! Watch 
I hear them on all sides of our wall. We don't want to go in contact with them because they are vicious, vicious creatures. That, so we've stocked up the fire. We've cranked our fire up. But the, but the. 